hope you're all doing well welcome back to my channel i'm not going to be around the bush with this video today you can already see from the title and know exactly what it is i am bringing you an everything five pounds haul today now i've seen a lot of these videos go around on youtube at the moment and i got contacted by this brand a few weeks ago now and i'm not going to lie at first I clicked on the website, had a look down one page and was like, no, don't really think it's for me. Just being completely honest. Then it wasn't until a couple of weeks ago that Aisha and Zelia uploaded one. And anyway, I watched their video and couldn't quite believe what they had managed to pick up on that site. I was like, hey, is this the same site that I looked on? I didn't see any of that. So anyway, went back onto everything five pounds, had a good proper look, not just the first page. And I couldn't actually believe some of the little gems and finds that I was finding. On that basis, I was super intrigued and really want to check them out for my Myself and actually get the items in person and see what it is all about because anything can be anything on a website it's different getting it in person and actually seeing the quality the fit and all that sort of stuff i have picked out some really good finds for you today going to give you a full first impressions try on i haven't actually tried on any of these things apart from two things the shirt that i'm wearing and a little off the shoulder top so yeah, I can't wait to actually style these up and try them on properly. Before we do get into all of that, I do just want to tell you a little bit more about Everything Five Pounds, just in case you aren't familiar with who they are or what they're about. It is what it is in their brand name, to be honest with you. Everything is Five Pounds. So they're essentially a website, which I believe how it works is they get sort of like end of season stock from brands and then they obviously sell it for Five Pounds. So that then means that you could get items from like Topshop, um, Nasty Girl at Five Pounds, which obviously is an absolute bargain but yeah definitely going to be a really good site if you're on a budget i know with times and what's going on at the moment it's hitting everyone financially so if you need a little bit of a pick me up you're on a budget want some affordable clothing or want an affordable outfit this will be your shop like i said personally i feel like it's a site that you do have to scroll through for me it wasn't just a site the first page i found loads of different things i liked admittedly i did spend like a good hour having to have a little look but trust me it is worth it when you look you can find some little gems so going to shut up from there i'm going to get straight in and share show you what i picked up so if you want to see what i picked up from everything five pounds then please continue watching okay i think i'm going to start with dresses first i managed to get some really nice sort of like spring summer dresses so the first one is an absolute personal fave i think this may be one of my favorite things in the whole haul. Mm, no actually i don't know i've got a few favorites so first one is this beautiful white little sort of like mini dress so as you can see at the top, it's like a V-neck strappy dress. It's got sort of toy toy shell buttons here and this beautiful sort of like tie up detailing. I cannot get over how stunning this is. The tag is actually pink, like it's cut out. So I don't know the brand. I feel like it could be like Miss Selfridge or something looking at that. But I mean, that's just me making assumptions. So I don't know 100%, but definitely looking at that tag, I feel like that may be Miss Selfridge. But yeah, quality of this is so good. It's lined inside. So yeah, I'm just gonna chuck this straight on and show you exactly how it looks on. You are not even gonna believe this one. I mean, I am just lost for words. Five pounds. Seriously, it's even got a zip to like get into it. You know in some dresses you just have to like try and get over your head and you can't even get into it. It's got like a really nice zip fastening to get into it. Like I said, it's lined at the top. Um, oh my goodness and it fits so nice as well so i got this in a size six and it literally just sits spot on oh my goodness i really hope that we can have some social distance and barbecues in the next few months when the weather's nice because this is going to be my go-to barbecue outfit so i just simply teamed it with a pair of pearl sliders a little cute sort of like wicker bag and i don't know about you but i just love this dress let me just do a little swirl yeah, again, I'd happily pay 30, 35 pounds for this on like Topshop, Zara. Wouldn't know the difference. God, I love this. I really hope this is still in stock for you guys because honestly, this is so beautiful. Moving on to the next dress that I picked up. Now, this is a little bit of a smarter dress. This would be so perfect for like workwear, um, just if you've got like a smarter, more formal occasion. So it is this black pinstripe dress and then it has these beautiful buttons running over the side it's got a nice v-neck again and similar to the last one it's just a straight down dress and like a nice mini length i just think for five pounds this is so cute again quality wise i cannot complain it's really good it's a nice sturdy fabric it's not cheap and thin so impressed with that so again i'm gonna chuck that on and see how it fits okay i'm not gonna lie i think everything five pounds is gonna be my new guilty pleasure i feel like that website is gonna be one of them sites that 
I can't help but check every single day just to see what like newbies they're dropping if they've got any little hidden gems because this dress again I cannot get over how nice it fits how comfortable it is the fabric just everything about it um so let me just come in and show you it is actually navy I think I may have said black when I was sitting down and um, I couldn't really see it under the bright light but yeah I can see it's navy now so it's pinstripe got these beautiful buttons um there is like a little zip fast in here to get into it yeah it's just so beautiful so I would typically wear this to again summer barbecues again like smart day lunches with the girls in the summer um, i think the white shoes look really nice with it i didn't know what color to wear just because it is navy so i felt like black just sort of clashes a little bit um but as it has got the white pinstripe running through it i feel like the white shoes complement it really well i feel like i need a nice little white clutch bag or something now but yeah also this could be a really nice office outfit blazer Jobs are good here. Right, moving on to knitwear and coats. Now, one little tip I would give you with everything five pounds is search for what you're looking for. There are admittedly so many pages on that site and you can end up spending hours and hours looking to find the good stuff. So I feel like if you've got something in mind that you want, try searching what you want. That's what I did. And then I started finding like so many lovely pieces. So I was really after another cardigan because I feel like I've been living in cardigans at the moment. I've just been wearing sort of loungewear and then like a nice sort of baggy oversized or like bat wing cardigan so i think i typed in bat wing knitted cardigans and i come across this one genuinely cannot get over how stunning this is it looks so nice on this is just me in a cardigan so it's got these really nice like bat wing sleeves it's not the thickest of knit i'm not gonna lie um i was expecting it to be slightly thicker but in the same breath I do feel like this probably is a little bit more appropriate for the spring summer. I mean, you don't really want something that's going to be overly thick. So yeah, to be fair, I don't really have that many lightweight cardigans. So it's probably actually a good thing. The only thing I would say as well is sometimes the sizes are a bit limited because I feel like things just go on that website like people are looking for the good stuff so you have to act quick if you want to get your size i would have preferably liked a bigger size than this i can't remember which size i got oh it says large in here probably would have liked it maybe just a little bit bigger but anyway it still looks stunning on but yeah this is the gray cardigan so i'll chuck that on and style that up for you okay so this is the gray bat winged knitted cardigan on and i'm a massive fan of this i love this let me come in and show you you know i love a real slouchy bat wing sleeve i feel like i've been living for that at the moment i've had a couple of sort of like slouchy cardigans in my wardrobe um so yeah i just simply teamed it with a vest top some shorts trainers perfect little day-to-day -day outfit for spring as the weather's getting a little bit warmer but you still just need a cardigan in case it gets a little bit chilly yeah this will go with so many outfits like i said it's a nice lightweight cardigan but it's still in this really nice knit fabric yeah it looks really nice it feels really comfortable so yeah another great little find then moving on to the next cardigan that i picked up and it is this beautiful sort of like brushed cotton um cardigan so it's like a off white slightly off white i'm gonna say or is that white am i just being kind of blind with the ring light and it's just simply a long cardigan with these gorgeous pockets on either side this is just so me with like an all black outfit on this over the top even like an all white outfit underneath actually oh my god that looks so nice but yeah again honestly cannot complain about this for five pound for a cardigan really nice quality really soft i just yeah i don't know what else to say i'm gonna try that on and again show you how i would style that okay so i've just quickly chucked this white cardigan on just with a plain outfit underneath and yeah honestly fits lovely really comfy really soft just an easy chuck on i always wear cardigans on a day to day when i'm at home working yeah really like this I think it's so nice don't get me wrong quality wise although it's super soft I don't think this is anything to scream and shout about. I wouldn't really expect to pay a lot for this anyway. I'd probably say no more than £15. So considering it's a five art, really good find just for like everyday chuck on. There's not really a lot else to say, really please. Just a nice little basic cardigan. Just chuck on with day-to-day -day outfits. Yeah. Now I'm completely aware that it is definitely not coat season at the moment. But again, I feel like if you are shopping on everything £5 and you come across something that you know that you can wear later on in the year or for a different season and it's £5, You'd be silly not to grab it. Cast your eyes on this. I feel like this is probably the one out of everything that's impressed me the most because five pounds for this. Is this actually, is this actually real? I mean, are they actually being serious? Five pounds for this. Again, if this was on a hanger in Topshop with Topshop branding on, I wouldn't even question it, guys. Genuinely wouldn't. The quality of this 
it's fully lined inside look can you see that fully lined inside so so stunning that like the detailing on it so yeah as you can see it's just this beautiful trench coat it's got like toy toy shell buttons that go up like a beautiful tie waist belt i did get this in a larger size so i think this is a large ah 12 to 14 i don't think there was any smaller sizes left to be fair so um yeah i just thought i'd grab what i could because i thought oh my god i need that but yeah how soon is that you bet that i will totally be wearing this when autumn winter comes back around and i can get my coat on again you know i love a trench i am so so chuffed with this so yeah i'm gonna quickly chuck that on and again show you how i'd style that up okay someone please tell me how this coat is five pound i mean let me just come in and show you how is this five pound i just think you'd be silly not to grab something like this for autumn winter it's so pretty you know i love a trench as well i love this i think it looks so high-end so expensive if you told me this was five pound i would honestly think you're having a laugh like there's no way that you would think this is five pound quality easily 40 50 pound top shop if not more but yeah so beyond impressed with this you need to check out the jacket section because if steels like this are going to be there i'm going to be on that jacket section every week looking you know i have a thing with jackets and coats so yeah this is just a typical way how style it as well just a simple black outfit underneath would be great for work so yeah honestly blown away right okay where do we go next i feel like i just don't even know what to show you next because there's so much good stuff okay next we'll go to tops now if you follow me on instagram you will have saw this top this again was another one that it, it has really blown me away i tried on a top from zara not so long ago about three months ago now near enough identical to this quality fit everything but this one is obviously a fraction of the price so it is this absolutely stunning black one shoulder top but the sleeve that is this beautiful slit which is just so so beyond stunning um so it's quite like an oversized relaxed fit but i did if you have a look at my instagram took it in and just styled it like that because that's just personally how i would style it rather than wear it out but you could totally wear it out and wear it loose if you would like to and then on the side it has this beautiful like tie up detailing which i just think is so so stunning i got this in a size small and genuinely i just wish you could feel the quality of this it's in a beautiful high-end crepe fabric but i'm going to be getting so many wears out of this it's going to be so many different ways i can style it I, yeah i'm so chuffed with this one so if you follow me on instagram you would have already saw this top on my picture but this definitely is in my top five of what i've to be honest with you i feel like i absolutely love everything um, but i would say this is definitely in one of my top five this is very me so this is the one shoulder top it does actually have like a strap here as you can see this is a little bit baggy on me so i probably could cut that out or i could just tighten it up so i might try and just alter that so that's not a problem though my hair goes over that um but oh, i love this i really love the split in this sleeve i think the detailing is so nice this is doubled up fabric um so it's double crepe the quality feels so good as i already mentioned i had one of these from zara something very similar and it feels exactly the same as the one i tried in zara um so yeah to think that the zara one was like 30 pound or something and this is five pound unbelievable um i also really like this side detailing i didn't know what to think of it when i first got it but i do think it just adds a little something different to the asymmetric top um, i've just teamed it with black trousers heels and the bag i really like this outfit it's a very typical me outfit and again i feel like this top is so versatile you'd be able to wear it with so many different things um and i got it in small for reference but yeah obsessed with this top um what other tops did i get oh next up i picked up a um is it a flannel shirt is that what they're called i feel like i've been seeing this sort of styling everywhere at the moment on influencers especially like sarah rashcroft i feel like it's very sarah rashcroft vibes and i love it how she pulls off a flannel shirt she always wears them like really like relaxed and open so i thought i'd grab one for myself and do some styling i feel like i'm getting into shirts a bit more lately i've got so many in my wardrobe and i haven't really been wearing them an awful lot um do you just rediscover something anyway this is what it looks like i've just undone it it's just this beautiful blue and white checked shirt like i said styling wise for me on this personally i would wear this open with like joggers and like a crop top or something underneath and i just think that would look so sort of like laid back fashionista style fashionista <laughs> i love that word don't i um but yeah i think this will really work especially with it being so on trend at the moment this is how i would style up the flannel shirt to be fair i wish i'd got it in a bit of a bigger size because i feel like with this sort of flannel shirt vibe which is like very casual it is more like a relaxed look 
and more of like a open jacket than a fitted sort of thing. So yeah, I definitely could have gone up in size in this, but all the same, I really love this look. I think with a pair of joggers, just a little cami, um, a bodysuit, just the shirt open like this, pair of trainers, just a really nice look for everyday casual. And again, I feel like this is a way to incorporate some print and color into your wardrobe without being like too in your face, because you know, let's be real, I don't really do too over face with all the colors and prints. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with this. Um, I don't own anything like this in my wardrobe. So yeah, I can't wait to wear this. Um, right, what else do we have? Oh, I also just picked up a jumper. I was having a look if they had any like oversized graphic jumpers. They didn't have that many, but I did come across this one, which I just thought was so good for lounging around the house. Just a pair of cycle shorts or leggings. Um, and it's just this grey one. So it says, don't not worry and deep more sprinkles. I just thought this was so appropriate for lockdown, if I'm completely honest. <laughs> that is my mood. Um, so yeah, just a plain grey sweater. Admittedly, it isn't the thickest quality, so don't be expecting like a big thick sweater. It's definitely more of a thin sweater, um, not like a loop back and thick and fleecy one inside. But all the same, still beautiful for five pounds. Um, and I got this in a size medium. Okay, so this is what the graphic sweater looks like on. Um, to be completely honest, it's not normally how I would wear a sweater. It's quite fitted and I normally wear them a little bit more baggy and oversized, but still fits really comfy. Just a really nice chuck on for, like I said, everyday casual, teamed it with leggings. I've also popped the slippers on. I was really intrigued to actually put the slippers on and see how they feel, just because they have such a chunky, um, sole to them. Like, I can't get over how squidgy and just hard that is really great quality probably the best quality pair of slippers that i own it's a really easy chuck on sweater for everyday casual while you're lounging around the house so yeah it gets another thumbs up from me oh and then the last thing top wise i got was this top that i'm actually wearing today oh i love this i have been living the blue at the moment i don't know where this color obsession has come from but i do already own a top very similar to this in my wardrobe and then i saw this one which is slightly different if i got the other one out you would know um and yeah i thought i'd get this so as you can see it's just a beautiful blue shirt it's actually like a blue mole if that makes sense so it's got like a bit of like grain and speck to it it also has like a little pocket here I just think you can never go wrong with a blue shirt. I feel like there's so many different ways to style them. You can wear them for work. You can wear them with joggers. You can wear them with a little skirt. Like, the list is endless. I feel like it's on par with a white shirt. Like, you need a blue shirt in your wardrobe. But yeah, again, as with everything in here at the moment, really, really nice quality too. Okay, so very quickly, this is one way that I would style the blue shirt. This for me is a very typical sort of workwear look. Something that I would have wore to the office when I used to work in my fashion job. I think the pop of blue just adds something to a typical black smart outfit. I've teamed it with more of a casual pair of black comfy wide leg trousers but you could go with smarter option again where i used to work it wasn't like super super smart but i think this looks smart enough the blazer over the top always and i have just simply tied it up as well just to give it a little bit more of a relaxed edge you could just simply tuck it into your trousers but i don't know i really like just sort of like tying it up like that so this is one look i'm just going to quickly show you how i would dress a shirt down because i think that's really important too because i mean for the most of us we aren't obviously going out to work at the moment but Really good outfit to go back to work in. Um, and for a fiver, it's a steal. Okay, and the next way I would style this shirt is just in a pair of joggers. I know this look won't be for everyone, but I love putting shirts with joggers because I just feel like it's a nice way to still feel super comfy on the bottom half, but just feel a little bit more presentable and ready in dress on the top half. Especially because we are living in a lot of loungewear at the moment. Sometimes, as much as it's nice, you do just want to feel a little bit more dressy. So yeah, really love how this look pulls through. And this shirt will be definitely getting a lot of wear in my wardrobe. Um, so that is everything for tops. Let's move on to trousers now. Now I've only got a couple pairs of trousers. So next thing I picked up were these absolutely stunning suit shorts. I just, honestly, I have no words. I really wasn't expecting a lot with this to be honest with you guys like genuinely when I got this I was thinking it's going to be hit or miss whether I do this video because if I get this box and everything's a load of crap I just message him and say I'm not doing it it's not worth it for me but when I actually got the box and started going through it all I genuinely was so shocked so yeah these suit shorts just so beautiful they've got um buttons here so like really nice silver buttons a tie waist belt which also has like a little button on they're so smart and again 
really really well made and good quality but yeah i really really like them we'll definitely be wearing them in the summer okay let's talk these shorts because i have just tried these on Shirley just try on a pair of shorts and you are just in love with them for me as you guys know shorts are a very iffy one because i have to have a right length i have to have a right fit I don't want them to accentuate my thighs. Like, there's so many elements for me that have to fit the bill when it comes to shorts. And these, oh, I just can't get over how nice these are. So let me come in. They definitely are more lilac y now. I can see the colour better. Do you ever really just look at something underneath lights and your eyes are just totally flashing? That's how I felt. Um, but yeah, as you can see, just a really nice, smart pair of like suit shorts, pinstripe pockets i love the tie waist detail i love the fact they're high waist as well they just skim down and just feel so unbelievably comfy i would wear these for an everyday casual in the summer but i also feel like these would be so perfect for when everyone does go back to work and it's a little bit warmer and you still want to dress smart for work i would just work on a blazer maybe some smarter shoes and yeah i think this would be a lovely outfit i'm so blown away by these i genuinely feel like these could be 35 pound in top shop um so yeah look um then i just picked up a more casual pair now to be honest with you i do feel like these are a little bit like old season um i feel like these were very much on trend like last year or, or the year before but to be honest with you i feel like as i've got older although i do like trends and sticking to trends if i like something i like something i'm not going to be like oh i'm not wearing it because it's not on trend anymore and i do genuinely really like this style of trousers so for me personally i would wear this with a shirt because they are quite chilled laid back um, I feel like to dress them up a little bit more, I would wear these with like a nice white shirt. So just simply a black pair of like wide leg joggers with popper details down the side. They're elasticated, they've got a tie waist, um, and then yeah, you've got all this popper detail and down the side with a red and white stripe. Again, likewise, really good quality, super soft fabric. This fabric is actually really, really thick like i wish you could just feel this um what size are getting these i got a size small in these this actually says in the tag brave soul i feel like i've heard of that brand before as well um so yeah super impressed with them okay this outfit i'm absolutely in love with do you know when you just get a vision of some trousers and you style it up and it just comes to life i honestly can't get over how nice these look how nice they fit again um, like I said, this is a branded one. It has like Brave Soul in or something, if you guys have heard of that. So again, fabric quality is so, so good. Really thick, um, just nice pop of trousers. Uh, they're very casual trousers, but as you can see, I have chose to dress up a little. So I put a shirt with it and some heels and then like a nice bag. I just feel it gives a whole different vibe to what would, like I said, normally just be a casual pair of trousers. You could by all means just wear like a plain bodysuit and trainers with this as well. So you can get so many different looks out of these five pound in different colorways as well i think they did blue and um, i went with the red yeah absolute winner okay moving on to the last couple of pairs of trousers now the next ones you probably gonna look at it at first glance and be like what the hell are those but just trust me with these how these are styled on the model they actually had a matching crop jacket which i'm so gutted that they didn't have online because i totally would have been there for that coordinate it was stunning oh i feel like i'm going to be looking at everything five pounds like every week now just to see if that ever comes on there to match with this because i need it um but anyway i thought we could work just with the trousers instead so i picked up these beautiful navy like printed trousers now they're just going to look absolutely nothing off the hanger and you're going to think what the hell are those they're satin they're like just crazy but i feel like these with a simple pair of heels and a black bodysuit would look so beautiful for evening and then i'd probably team like a black blazer over the top i'm all for statement trousers and i also really like the satin vibe as well and yeah they're just sort of like a straight peg leg pair of trousers so yeah really intrigued to try those on okay guys so I, I literally struggled to get into these they're satin so you guys know the drill with satin you're always best to upsize and i clearly didn't i can't actually find what size i got i think i got a small so it's one of them that you don't really know what a small is but yeah definitely definitely too small for me i've only just managed to squeeze them on i can't breathe but oh such a shame i feel like this is going to be a bit of a marmite outfit you either love these or you hate them but i honestly absolutely love these i just think there's something a little bit different with this little like corset top teamed with them um and oh if i could find the matching blazer 
even been a dream outfit and um, let me come in and show you it's so so pretty i just love them i just think there's something different i feel like with heel a nice little bag in the summer this would just be such a nice outfit for like drinks with the girls such a shame about the fit of these because i feel like if i would got the size up they'd have fitted so nice because as you can already see they really like shape my legs um so yeah love the trousers quality is amazing price is right and um, but unfortunately these ones just don't fit and then the last pair of trousers i got again i sort of got these for like autumn winter you guys know i love a black pair of coated trousers like coated trousers in autumn winter are just my go-to they go absolutely everything oversized jumpers coats oh my god i feel like i'm so excited for autumn winter already um and i couldn't not get a pair of these now i feel like these are not going to fit me guys so I'm really gutted about this. What size are they? It doesn't say, but yeah, I do feel like these are gonna be way too big, which is such a shame because they feel so nice. But I'll show you them anyway. These black coated pair of trousers, they genuinely are such good quality. Something that if it had a high street brand tagged into it, I wouldn't even question it or give it another second thought. Just simply this, black, got a few little like studs there. Just going into a straight leg. Not a lot to say, they're just really, really nice, but sizing on them, they definitely are not my size. So I don't think I'll be able to try them on guys, but they are really nice all the same. Right, these are an absolute fine. You need to go on their website now and buy yourself, your mom, your friends, whoever it may be that you want to gift one of these to a pair, because these slippers, two for five pound two packets of these slippers are five pound and you wait until i show you the quality of these so these are the slippers so they're just gray and then they're like fluffy inside but look at the sole of them they're like memory foams look how big and chunky that sole is two pound fifty each because you get two pairs for a five up two pound fifty for a slipper and of that quality they're better than Primark. Like, I'm not even joking. They are actually better than Primark slippers. £2.50. I mean, I don't even think you can get a pair of slippers in Primark for £2.50. So, yeah, you can have one for you. And then you give the pink pair to your mum or your friend or keep both. But I just think for £5 for two pairs of good quality slippers like that, oh i'm so excited to wear them right last thing now this was probably what i was least impressed with in the haul not gonna lie um i got some towels because they were five pound but if i'm completely honest they are nothing to really talk about um thin quality not soft not really something i would use personally for the bathroom just because i like a nice soft luxurious towel um but i mean if you're looking for some just cheap towels to use like on your dog to wash dog or <laughs> i don't know where did that even come from yeah if you're looking for some towels to use for other things i don't know hairdressing or you're not really bothered about the quality as much then i mean they would do but personally for bath towels i just don't think even though the five pound like i know that's still cheap so you do have to remember that but i still don't think for five pound i would buy these because i wouldn't use them for the bath you know does that make sense but yeah you get two face cloths as well again i wouldn't use them for my face because they're not soft enough um but i'm sure you could find uses for these probably the least thing i was impressed with in the haul is that okay one last thing nearly forgot to show you these just found them on the edge of the bed um so last but certainly not least have a pair of heels to show you now i was looking through their shoes for a while and to be honest with you i didn't really see an awful lot i definitely feel like there will be some styles to suit some people but just personally for me there wasn't many that was my vibe if you know what i mean um there's a lot of trainers and sandals so if you're looking for some like sandals and stuff then definitely have a look because i'm sure there'll be something to suit everyone but anyway there was one pair of shoes that did stand out to me and they were these cute black heels like honestly how nice are those five pound a simple pair of black heels they've got this gorgeous little buckle on the side this like back strap which is velcro as well and then look at that heel like look at the quality of that heel it's a real sturdy heel like it's not a stiletto that can be very uncomfortable to walk on it's actually like really well supported i think you just can't go wrong for five pound very styled or with like a nice pair of trousers for a night out i would 100 wear them so yeah definitely have a look at the shoes as well hey guys that is everything five pounds i am honestly so 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 impressed i think for five pounds all of these items like when you work out how much all of this must have cost like let's just add it up we've got pair trousers five pound ten pound 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 
55, 60. Pair of shoes, 65. And then let's just put the slippers in, 70. And then let me just tell you what we got for 70 pounds. So for 70 pounds, I've got a pair of heels, two pairs of slippers, two cardigans, a coat, two dresses, two shirts, a jumper, a pair of shorts, a pair of going out trousers, a pair of black coated jeans, an off the shoulder top, and some wide leg tracky bottoms. I just think you can seriously not go wrong. So yeah, definitely go and check them out guys because like I said it and I repeat, there really are some hidden gems on there. Sometimes things don't always stand out so you do have to just have a little look. But I definitely feel like as well, they're gonna be one of those sites that you just have to have a little look every single week because they're always dropping new bits in and things do sell out fast on there. So to get the little gems, you have to be there ready and waiting. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and go. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite pieces were in the comments bar below. Um, thank you to everything five pounds for kindly sponsoring this video as well and make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye